بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Okay, your tajweed made it easy, lesson number 3, page number 10 In this lesson we're looking at lengthening for one second, okay? Many people use uh, alifs, opening and closing of the finger But subhanallah, I've, chose to use, I've chosen to use time Okay? Because time is something that doesn't change, okay? Inshallah If you see fatha, zabar, before it is, there's an alif you have to lengthen it for a second. If you see kasra, a zir, before a ya, then you have to lengthen it for a second. If you see a dhamma, before a wow, then you lengthen it for a second. So the examples underneath are ba, ta, tha, bi, ti, si, bu, tu, su. What we're trying to clarify here is this is different than just having a fatha, zabar, kasra, Zair and Dhamma Pesh on any letter. So for example, Ba would be Ba, Bi, Bu. But in this instance it would be Ba, Bi, Bu. Okay? One second long. Okay, let's look at the first. The main box in the middle is split into three sections. There's eight examples of each one, okay? On the right hand side, the, the slightly shaded box, the grey box, it says any letter, you put an alif with it and you put a fatha, zabar on top. That's what we're looking at. So, for example, ba, ta, tha, gha, ya, any letter, okay, inshallah. So, let's have a look at the eight examples. I, ya, ka. So, look at the ya. There's a alif with it and a zabr on top of it, okay? Fatha on top. So, therefore, it's lengthened for a second. I, dina. Now, all the circled examples you can see now, they're all going to be. That's what we're going to be focusing on, okay? Sirata Adabun Bihima Qala Lisa'iha Fiha Okay? Second one You have a Ya Sakin Before it there is a Kasra Zair Any letter So you could have B, T, Th, G, Y, M All these, okay? So look at the circles examples in the next eight examples that are next to next to the one the ya sakin which it says any letter. So let's have a look at the examples there, okay? Dini mustaqima alladina alimun muhitun jahima fiha hasiban. Remember, you have to still pronounce your letters exactly how they've been taught as before, okay? So don't let go of the sharpness of the ha or the full mouth of the ta, etc., okay? Right, one to the third example. Any letter, if it is with a wow, with a sukun, and on top of it there's a dhamma, pesh. So for example, bu, tu, su, hu, like this, okay? Next eight examples are maghubi. Yunfiquna kafaru qalu nurun amanu duni ya'lamuna I hope from all these examples you've understood that if there's an alif and the letter before there's a fatha zabar on top you have to lengthen it for a second if there's a ya sakin the letter before has a kasra zir you have to lengthen it for a second if there's a wow sakin and the letter before has a dhamma, a page on top, you have to lengthen it for a second. Okay, just a few notes at the bottom of this page, on page 10. The thing that needs to be understood in this lesson is that the fatha zabar is connected to alif, Kasra Zair is connected to a Ya, Dabma Pesh is connected to a Wow, okay? That's quite straightforward, I hope. Many times the examples are read too short, don't forget to lengthen for one second, okay? That's the key thing about this lesson. This is what I'm trying to teach in this lesson. If you come to any of these three states, you have to lengthen for that long, inshallah, okay? And the bottom paragraph it says, try not to over lengthen the letter 2 because. Many people do this and the reason is that they are thinking of what is basically coming after that, okay? So basically when a person is reading, for example, they are saying Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen They start to say 
Alhamdulillah Me Like this, okay? So what I'm trying to say basically is that Nothing needs to be stretched unless there's a reason to do so, okay? Instead of saying Alhamdu And lengthening that dal You should be saying Alhamdu Stop Lillahi Stop and then inshallah, once you've looked at it, where the lengthening is and where the lengthening is not, then you can put the whole verse together, okay? Rather than guessing the whole thing while you're going along the first time. Okay, inshallah. And the last thing, these three examples are known as mad asli, okay? Mad asli. Just a technical term for you to remember, inshallah. I hope in this lesson you have learned to lengthen for one second in them three states. Jazakumullah khairan for your time and patience. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته